Okay, so welcome back. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to bypass login screens using SQL injection. SQL injection is a code injection technique used to hack data applications in which malicious SQL statements are inserted into an entry field for execution. So let's get started by going first to user info SQL and extract the account details from the database. Sometimes it is better to know how the SQL query looks like. For that you can type a single quote in the name field and press enter. And you can see the query down here, which is select from accounts where username is what you have passed in and password whatever you have passed in. Now in order to view the account details you need to type in single quote or one equal one. This one equal one is a true statement. So you can type any true statement like four equal four, six equal six and so on. And to escape from the password field, use the comment symbol. This comment symbol will ignore the password field when the query is executed on the server. So go ahead and press view account details. And you can see all the usernames and passwords from the database. You can also use the same statement, single quote, one equal one, and the comment symbol to log in. And you can see I have successfully logged as admin. Okay, now let's log out and see another example. Let's say you know the username is John, but you don't know the password. For that you need to type John single quote and the comment symbol to ignore the password field for John in my case and press login and up here you can see I'm logged as John. Now let's understand the SQL query behind the scene and this is how the SQL query will look like when you are trying to log in to a web application. Select from table name this can be any name, where username is whatever name you have typed. If the username is in the database, for example John, then this will be true. And the trick here is when you put 1 equal 1 or 4 equal 4, this will also validate as true. And to bypass the password field, I have used the comment symbol, which will ignore the last part of the query. That's why you are able to log in without using a password. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.